What's up YouTube, it's Kenny again. Wanted to make a video to talk about this M1 Finance Pi. I've been working more on it and I think I've got it to a spot that I kind of like. And so I wanted to tell you what's in it, talk about it a little bit. So as I've said, I created an account with M1 Finance to create a Pi, okay? Now, what the pie is, is you pick a bunch of stocks and you set the percentages and then whenever you make a deposit into it, it spreads it out using fractional shares among all those stocks in the percentages that you've laid out. I like the system a lot. It's really simple and I like that about it. So before we talk about what stocks are in there, I just want to say I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a truck driver driving across the country researching and trading stocks, and I will not be held responsible for any moves you make in the stock market. Not ever. I'm not your mama. All right? Uh, hit that subscribe button for me. Like the video. Let me know what you think about the, the percentages that I've set up and the diversity that I've set up in this pie. Uh, let me know what you think about it, okay? Now, I'm going to put the link to the Patreon in the description, as usual. And if you want to help contribute to the deposits that are going to go into this pie and you want to support the channel, you can uh, join the Patreon down below and, you know, maybe tune into a live stream and throw me a super chat. Uh, and just in general, keep watching the videos. And all any and all money that I make off of YouTube from both of my channels and from uh, the t-shirts for the other channel and the patreons for both channels and the live stream super chats on both channels uh, any of that is going to go directly into this pie and we're going to kind of track it together and you know i'll give updates on it once in a while so we can see how it's doing and let you guys know how much i'm putting in it and stuff like that okay i hope that that gives a little engagement to what's going on here and and gives you guys uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It just gives you guys something to look at to see that, that whatever you guys pledge or the money I make off the ads on the videos are going towards some constructive and I'm just not sit spending it on fucking beer and cigarettes, you know. So uh, I hope that that's something that you like, all right. So the stocks that I've put in there, I've put 11 stocks in there, okay, and I've tried to get a little bit of more diversity than what I've got in my other portfolios, which are generally really risky, okay? And there is some real risk involved in, in these stocks, but there's also some more stability in there. So let's talk about it, okay? So 11 stocks, okay? Tesla, 10% will be Tesla. 10% will be Hylion. And 10% will be Lordstown Motors. And then 10% will go into ChargePoint, which I haven't really talked on this about much on this channel, but it's a an EV charging stock, okay? They're the leader in EV charging, um, with the exception of Tesla, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, and then down at the bottom here, we've got Enphase at 8%, and I just want to mention that because there's a heavy concentration in this pie of EVs and solar, and so we've got solar with Enphase and Tesla, okay? And then we've got charging for EVs with ChargePoint and Tesla. And then we've got EVs with Tesla, Lordstown, and Hylion. And then EV semi-trucks with Tesla and Hylion. So it's heavily concentrated. About 48% of the portfolio is going to be EVs, EV charging, and solar, Okay. Now, beyond that, okay, the other stocks in the portfolio are ARC-G, so we get some genomics, and I don't have to do the mental gymnastics to learn about it. We've got ARC-K, and that's just basically to provide more growth, and, you know, it gives us a little more exposure to Tesla and some exposure to some fintech and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to put those two funds in there because I, I love ARC, and I really like these two funds in particular from ARC, okay? So I, those are both 9%. So we've got 9% in ARC-G, 9% in ARC-K, okay? And then I put, I'm put, i putting 9% into Facebook. Uh, Facebook is a stock that I think has a lot of room to run. Uh, they're really focusing right now on uh, virtual reality and, you know, through, the, through Oculus, 
They've got a ton of people in that program, like 10,000 people really working on innovating in that program. And I think that uh, with, you know, the basically the multiple that they're trading at, their forward PE and stuff seems low for what it should be. And people think of it mostly as just social media and don't really uh, think a lot about that Oculus thing. But, you know, it's got a lot of room to run, in my opinion. I think it's a really good stock. And a lot of people think it's a really good stock to invest in. So, 9% in Facebook. Semiconductors. I wanted to put some of that SOXL, that triple leveraged fund in there. But M1 Finance won't allow me to buy that triple leveraged fund. So, for semiconductors, I just decided to go with NVIDIA. Uh, we have put 9% also into NVIDIA. Corsair Gaming is a company that I like, that Jeremy's talked about a lot. I own some of their products. I have owned their products in the past. Uh, I like Corsair Gaming, and I think they've got room to run. I think that that's a, a growth play as well as like a commodities and tech space kind of play. So I like Corsair Gaming. That's CRSR, and we're putting 8% into that. And then, like I said, 8% into Enphase. You guys know I love that one. And then the final 8% will go into PayPal, and that's going to give us some fintech. I like PayPal. Uh, I like the stock, but I've been using PayPal for many years. I have a business PayPal when I used to do a bunch of woodworking and stuff. And, you know, I've just, I've used PayPal for a really long time. And with them introducing crypto and stuff, it kind of gives a little exposure to that area. And also to fintech, which we've also got some fintech in RK. So, I mean, I just think that this, this setup is fairly diversified, yet still focused on uh, heavy growth, okay? So, that's where we're at, guys. That's, that's where the M1 Finance is at. I want you to let me know in the comments if you like the way I've set it up, if you think it's a, a good way to set it up, if you think it's diversified enough. I know that in my other accounts, I'm heavily focused into just like four stocks, you know, and I wanted to branch out a little more in this one and kind of provide a little more diversification with, while at the same time, still focusing on growth, you know, uh, and I hope that I've achieved that. We're going to find out. Okay. So the first deposit should be sometime in the middle of the middle of the month, late month, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly when YouTube AdSense pays out. I think it's uh, it might be early next month, okay? But as soon as I get that, which uh, looking at the numbers between both of my channels, it looks like the YouTube ad revenue and super chats right now are going to be somewhere around 300 and something. And then uh, I've got about, I don't know, about $25 in t-shirt money. I sell t-shirts on my other channel. Uh, and then I've got uh, a little bit of Patreon. I'm not sure. Uh, the other Patreon on my other channels beating you guys. It was both released at the same time, but they're like, you know, the, the pledges are a little higher over there, even though there's fewer people. Uh, so I'm not sure about the Patreon. I've got it set to where it doesn't automatically pay out, and I'll have to request a payout from the Patreons. So I may let that build up a little bit. And the same with the t-shirts. I may let that build up a little bit and uh, before I deposit it. So they may be staggered deposits. You know what I mean? It'll be like whenever YouTube pays out, it'll go straight into this pie. And whenever I feel like I want to take a payout from the other stuff, from Patreon, from the t-shirts, whenever it gets built up a little bit, I'll do those and I'll deposit those. And we'll talk about it on the channel. I'll talk, we'll look at it. You know, I, I can't really show screenshots, but, you know, I'll update you on how it's doing. Uh, I will post screenshots of it to the Patreon so that uh, the patrons can see how it's doing and stuff. It's not easy for me to do. I may post it in the community uh, tab on Facebook. That may be a way for me to share it with everybody. Uh, just maybe, you know, once every month or two just to track it so you guys can see how it's doing. Maybe it gives uh, you a little sense of accomplishment because, you know, you guys are the ones that are that are basically paying for it. You know what I mean? My money goes into the other accounts. I'm not saying that I won't ever deposit any of my money into this, but <clears throat> at least for now, I want to just keep it strictly YouTube-related 
money will go into this. And so it will take a long time to build it up, but I think it'll be fun to watch how it does and, you know, see how my pie plays out and watch the money, you know, that comes directly from YouTube and stuff grow. Uh, yeah. So if, if you're, if you enjoy the content, support the channel by joining the Patreon, the link will be in the description below. You can also tune into some live streams and throw me a super chat. Uh, and, you know, just in general, keep watching the videos. You know, maybe share them around. Help me get some more subscribers. And uh, let's see how it goes. Thanks for your support. And thanks for watching.